Saitama is just too freaking good. This guy is a monster that cannot be stopped. Episode 9 of One Punch Man. It was freaking fantastic. I love this episode. And we see now that our story is still progressing, you know, rather nicely. So this episode obviously started off where we have Genesis and the uh, Deep Sea King. They're about to fight. And we see now that we have uh, Saitama on the phone still talking to the hero association and so right now we, we see now that you know they all know about Saitama they know that you know that uh, this guy he broke every record doing the physical exam you know when he first joined this you know association and so right now you know like we learn people think that you know this guy is fake you know he's a cheater he's a fraud and we see now that this is their way of testing to see if you know if Saitama is the real deal or phony like, like, like uh, people are saying and so we see now that when he obviously gets the uh, location of where King is we see him now heading there but Genesis versus King you know even though we all know how that fight turned out it was still a pretty darn good one I was definitely into that like we we see now, you know, Genesis, he did not really waste any time, and we see him, you know, charging in right away, and we also see him, you know, getting in just like one good blow, you know, like right off the bat, and we see that now kind of like make a hole in King's mouth, and you can like see it teeth through it, that right there, it was like freaking awesome, and so we see now, you know, Genesis, he thought that right there, you know, was it? Because we can see the attack now, it definitely did a lot of damage because not only did we see this big hole where the shelter was, we also saw the like part of the city was like also messed up as well. But we see that that right there was, was like not enough to keep King down. And we see him now getting back up. And then like one good sneak attack, he actually, you know, handicapped, uh, Genesis by, 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 uh, removing one of his hands. I mean, one, one of his arms, you know, like almost entirely. And so right now, even though Jonas was like, you know, still handicapped and because he had let down his guard, he was not sure if he could win this. And we see now that, you know, he was like, he was even telling people, you know, to get out of here and, and he actually admitted to them that, you know, there might be a chance that, that, that he might not win. But, but we see now that when him and, uh, when him and Skin King start going at it, even though this guy only had one arm, he was still able to go, you know, like blow for blow with him. And we even see Genesis here get like the upper hand with like one good kick that has sent King flying. And then we see Genesis bringing out, bringing out like this, uh, this little combo. But we have him, you know, blinding him with like him with his eyes. You know, I didn't even know he could even make a light that, you know, that bright to actually blind someone. And so that right there was cool from like the lightning eye into that kick. And then we have him with, with his uh, machine gun blow. And, and and that right there was like pretty dang good. I definitely like, you know, the little uh, transition he had between all his attacks. But we see now, you know, that right there still, it was not good enough because we have King healing from pretty much everything that, you know, Genesis here, but like thrown out at him. And then we see now that when these two were like, you know, at a standoff, we have some little girl who unfortunately opened her mouth and was like supporting Genesis. And that right there made King, you know, spit this ball of acid at her. And, and, and for some reason, I did not think it, it would be that big, but it did, but then you see that when it hit, uh, when it hit Genesis, that right there pretty much covered like his, his entire, you know, backside. And you just see like his limbs, they all melt off. And we see now that this guy's like pretty messed up. And obviously, you know, uh, King here, he would not leave it at that. And we see him now, you know, like not only punching him, you know, uh, like into a wall, throwing him, but, but we also saw him, you know, punching him through it as well. And so obviously, you know, like there was no way just could fight anymore. And I definitely felt bad for the guy because he, uh, he was going in there first and for things, and for things to like turn out like that, it was definitely, you know, pretty messed up. And then we see now that, you know, before King here could like kill Genesis, we have the, we have the, uh, 
movement writer now arrival on the scene but we all know this guy he is like an average joe trying to be a hero and so obviously he has no real you know no real power you know this guy is like a common man and so we see him now trying to like you know attack the king but it wasn't working like like at first he had threw his uh his bike at him that had no effect and then we see him now trying to like hit him but obviously you know there's no way he can hurt king and we even see king treating this guy like like he was like nothing at all like like we have him you know like throwing him around like, like he's a rag doll we have him you know we have king even going back to his like original form and this guy just like murked the floor with the uh, movement writer and and also it was like like also i can definitely you know respect the uh movement writer now because he knows that you know he's definitely not strong enough to be a big rank because this guy you know has no real power but we see now that he actually can't acknowledge that that uh he is weak which is definitely good you know at least the guy's not fooling himself and we see that all these people were, were like rallying behind him and that right there was like nice to see but but king here this guy is a freak of nature so obviously there was nothing that the writer could like do against him and we see now that you know he was defeated you know where king had punched him but luckily saitama here had actually caught him and so right now king was like definitely not taking you know saitama seriously he was like rambling on about you know how the how the uh, sea creatures how they were like the true rulers of the world you know stuff like that and eventually you know saitama you know just got tired of it he said you know it was, he, like, I, I believe he said that you know it's raining let's just do this and we see now that right there tick king off and we see him now trying to punch Saitama and out of nowhere he just counters and obviously you know that infamous one punch took him out like and that right there was like pretty dang amazing I will say because Saitama punched this guy so hard that obviously not only not only did that kill him but it also made it start raining like when I saw that I definitely had to go back and watch that twice because that right there was like freaking awesome and also like the way King fell where he just saw his eyes now out of his socket oh my god that, that looks so gross but obviously you know with like King dead everybody was cheering and we see now that the uh, that, that, that the following day where, where we have uh where we have Genesis and Saitama come back from the store, we see now that they actually got fan mail. And so we see now that uh, Saitama actually had fan mail of his own, you know, for the first time. And when he read it now, we see that, that the first one was like calling him a cowardly, you know, bald cheater or fraud, you know, something like that. And we, and we, and we get a flashback now of what happened yesterday. And we see like there was like one guy in the crowd, you know, talking and, and we see that, you know, he was like pretty much bad mouthing, you know, all the heroes saying that, you know, these guards, you know, like they are too weak. And, and, and they meant that the, uh, Sea King was, like, not strong enough, you know, stuff, stuff like that. And so pretty much all the other civilians were, like, getting tired of this guy. And we see now that, you know, because of that, you know, uh, like, one of them were, like, going to hit him because, you know, like, he was telling him to shut up. And we see now that this guy was, like, you know, he was, like, you know, uh, like this, this, oh, this association, they can be around, you know, because of our donations. And so because of that, so yeah, we had this one guy who was like bashing all the heroes, you know, talking about they had to protect them and they should not be weak because anyone, you know, can protect someone and put their life on the line, but only a hero, you know, can defeat these monsters. And so we see now that like Saitama, he was in all of this and I, I didn't know where, you know, we hear him start laughing. And so right now we see now that, that uh, Saitama, right now he was like making himself kind of like the villain, even though he is a good guy, because he was saying that like that the uh, that that king here, he was like already worn down from like all the heroes who have fought him 
who had fought him before and Saitama here, you know, just came in and stole all the credit. You know, he was like making himself seem to be a cheater or a fraud and, and, and already these like rumors are out there about him. And so of course now people, you know, like now know who he is and we see him, you know, actually, you know, building on that more and more. And so he was like, you know, make sure that those heroes are like taken care of because how else can I steal their credit if they're dead? And so now I definitely feel bad because Saitama had to have to now walk down on the path alone. But at least now Genesis was like, if he ever gets back to a corner, you know, like by by doing this, then I'm pretty sure that like he will he will tell everybody the truth that you know Saitama it's not like that. And he's like definitely the hero that you know everybody needs or or you know like to uh, strive to be. And so now we see that, you know, all all the mail that he got, even though it was two, you know, the other one, it actually wasn't bad. It was it was it was someone, excuse me, saying things. And so so now you know we have no idea who that is till till the end. But at least you know that right there was nice. But also, uh, Saitama actually got called in by the Hero Association, and we see now that uh because he actually he actually became you know rank one. Which, which he definitely deserved, but we see now that at the same time, he can actually get promoted because they had called him in for an interview because they had given him a choice to either stay, you know, uh, at C rank one or, or start at the, uh, start at the bottom again and, and become, you know, a B rank. And so right now he was saying that like either way is fine, but you know, he, uh, he will go for the promotion because right now he cannot stay, you know, partner with Jenna's, you know, with like him being a C rank. And, and Saitama being a, I mean, with uh, with Dennis being an S rank and Saitama being a C rank, so right now he has to like work his way up so that way they can like be even. And so now we see that when the interview was like getting underway, we see that you know, like uh, even though four people were like watching him, you know, there were like some others, you know, as well who was watching from like higher grounds. And so we see that the guy who was talking to that man with with, with, like, with like the uh, scruffy beard, you know, in the comms room, you know, this guy must be a higher up because why else would he be with like I'm guessing you could call them like the uh, the leaders. And so we see now that even though Saitama has all these bad rumors going on about him, they are they aren't doing much. They are like letting him run free because you know they were saying that he can either prove himself and be a B rank hero, or maybe you know you know all these rumors could be true, and you know that would expose him, making him regret that. And so right now they are like letting him you know do what he wants to see if he would like sink or swim. And so obviously after the uh, interview was over, we see him now, you know, being a B rank. And apparently, you know, the B rank is definitely, you know, a lot smaller than, than C because we see now that, that he's actually in a, a rank rank uh, 101, I believe it was. And so right now he, he was like walking home. He had smelled something good. And we see now that when he went there, it was like a, it was an, a Udon place. And obviously, he was, he was not the only one there. The movement writer was there as well. And we see him wanting to like treat Saitama to whatever he want, like like food or drinks. And so when Saitama was like, why are you doing this? He was saying, because I cannot say everything in my letter. And so obviously, he was the one who wrote that. And also, it was definitely nice to see that, you know, that the, uh, that the movement writer is now Saitama's, you know, first real fan, obviously, beside Jenna's. And so that right there was nice because we see like that friendship forming between them. And so now in the hospital, you know, we have a lightning max and that spirit guy who took out like 10 fishmen, you know, last episode. And so right now they were like resting up and we see them now reading the uh, newspaper and out of nowhere we have the, uh, Puri Puri princess, I mean prisoner. Oh my God. Prisoner. I'm sorry. Coming in there. And so, uh, and so we see now that apparently this guy once again had like broke out of prison, you know, to like see them, which is, you know, crazy, you know, to begin with. And so we see apparently he had wanted to give them like uh, these angel shots and that right there quickly ma made them both get up and left. But we see now that when that uh, new people fell and the prisoner has saw that, we see now that like, there, there's an article calling him an S-rank failure. So I do wonder if this guy will get the motive because 
because that right there will be something. Oh, and also we have once again, uh, I my mask making another appearance and we see that, you know, he was like being alerted, you know, about Saitama and of course about him getting promoted. And so we see that this guy, he, he, uh, he only cares about a rank and S rank because those, you know, are like, are like always in the, uh, in the limelight. And if one of them, you know, actually get, you know, a bad rep, that right there can also, you know, hurt him. But, but we see now that, you know, this guy was like definitely not fond of the way that that king here was defeated. And so obviously now he was told that like it, it was like Tom who killed him. So I do wonder if maybe that right there will get on my mask to like look at two such time a bit more but but overall the episode to me it was definitely good you know next week she wants to get continue this hype because you know one punch man had been on a roll since it started but as always let me know what you guys thought and please do not forget to like and subscribe because it will let me out but as always you guys take it easy and i will see you all next time